here's something for the car lovers out there. Jaguar has unveiled its first oil uh, all-electric vehicle. It's called the I-Pace concept. Now, the four-door, five-seat SUV, which will go on sale in 2018, runs off a liquid-cooled 90 kilowatt hour lithium battery pack that gets 220 miles of driving on one charge. Of course, Jaguar exec executive said the vehicle will produce the equivalent of 400 horsepower and achieve 516 pounds-feet of torque. Now, this is the first all-electric vehicle Jaguar has produced, but not the first time the company has dabbled in harnessing electric power. Ian Herbin, a vehicle line director at Jaguar, told me more about the car on the eve of the launch. I think that, the, um, of course, the infrastructure is a very important part of it, and clearly that varies market from market. But, but I think the most important thing really is um, making electric vehicles which live up to the brand promise uh, of internal combustion engines. Uh, the car you see behind me, the, the I-Pace concept, uh, first of all, it's a Jaguar. Uh, it delivers the design of a Jaguar, the performance, the responsiveness, the interior package and, and the luxuriousness. So really it's about making an electric vehicle uh, which fulfills all of the brand promises that you'd expect from a, a vehicle like a Jaguar. Now, of course, Tesla's pretty much uh, got the top end of the market right now for luxury EVs uh, uh, concerned. Now, so what uh, exactly is Jaguar's strategy in the segment? Uh, of course, electric vehicles are, are the future. Uh, the electrified um, segment is one of the fastest growing segments uh, in the world this year. So very much uh, electric propulsion, zero emission propulsion is part of our future. Um, but as I've said, what's most important is that we deliver, particularly from the electrical propulsion system, the kind of levels of performance and responsiveness that you would, that you would expect from a Jaguar. So electrification is an integral part of our future, absolutely. Now, Ian, given the fact, uh, of, of course, that uh, electric vehicles have a lack of a distinctive uh, sound, they've been criticized for not providing mm -hmm. oral stimulation to drivers, is this a transient problem, or do you see this uh, as a long-term obstacle to m making people excited about el electrical vehicles? Um, I think the, the, the way the car responds, uh, the immediate torque in particular, will enable or will really give that, that level of exhilaration when you drive the car, that level of responsiveness. Uh, obviously, you're right about from a, um, a powertrain sound quality perspective, uh, but we're confident actually that we have the technology to enable us to augment uh, the physical performance and give that oral feedback as well. Uh, clearly, we're not going to talk in detail, but, but I think, I think we, we're very confident that we have a way of delivering that overall uh, level of, um, I guess, excitement and enjoyment when you drive the car, and that includes the sound as well.